current transformer are the type of instrument transformer which is you know used for measurement of the current that is what we say metering purpose and also for protection purpose the input of that is also given to the relays for protection purpose and in this particular video we are going to talk about these five parameters about the current transformer which are very very important if you are going for a technical interview this video will act as a quick guide for all these five parameters so if you want to get the details then you need to watch the video So let us first start with the rated secondary current. Now if you see the uh, current transformer you will find two types of current mentioned on the nameplate. One is the rated primary current which is let's say mentioned as 1000 ampere and also there will be a secondary current which is let's say mentioned at 1 ampere or 5 ampere. Now the primary current is the current which flows through the primary of the current transformer and as a result as output uh, the output that you get from the secondary side is what we call as secondary current now the secondary current is generally and there are two varieties in that one is 1 ampere and another one is 5 ampere some countries still you also use 2 ampere as the secondary output but if you look at the secondary currents clearly there is a trend towards the 1 ampere current because there is a reason behind that when you use 1 ampere as a secondary output the i square r losses are very very minimal compared to the 5 ampere current because when you use 5 ampere definitely this i square r losses are gonna go up it's about 25 percent higher than the 1 ampere current and i square r loss is nothing but the additional burden on the ct which will make the ct score heavy and also costly so definitely there is a clear trend towards the 1 ampere secondary current right now the, if you look at the representation of this you will find generally mentioned as 1000 by 1 ampere now this is the representation that you will see on the nameplate so the 1000 indicates it is the primary current and 1 ampere indicate it is the secondary current right so that is about the rated secondary current very very important to remember if you are going for a technical interview this is uh, really necessary if you the interviewer ask which one is better 1 ampere or 5 ampere then you have your answer now right by the way if you are going for the interview and you need a quick guide on substation then you need to check out the substation simplified course it is designed for beginners and will be very very useful if you are going for a technical interview just go and check it out i'll provide link for it down in the description now Moving on, let us talk about the rated extended current rating of the current transformer. We talked about the uh, rated current of the current transformer. Let's say it is 1000 ampere. Now this is the uh, rated current which will flow normally in the system, which will flow normally in the primary of the current transformer. And if it even if it flows continuously, there won't be any thermal issue in the current transformer. The temperature of the current transformer will remain within the limit specified by the different standards right but there can be a situation wherein this primary current may go up in some abnormal conditions right and in that case the current transformer should be able to sustain that current and the temperature of the current transformer should remain within the specified limits by the different standards and that is the reason why the rated uh, extended current rating is specified now you will see generally it is mentioned as 120% or 150% or 200%. Now these are the value which is defined by the IEC standards. Now what does it mean? When it is mentioned as 120% that means the uh, current transformer is capable of carrying 120% of the rated primary current and it will have no impact on the temperature rise of the current transformer the temperature rise will remain within the limits right similarly when it is mentioned as 200 percent that means even if 200 times the primary current flows through the current transformer temperatures of the transformer will remain within the limit so 200 percent means let's say even if 2000 ampere flows continuously in the current transformer everything will remain within the limits as specified by the IEC standards 
so that is a rated extended current rating very important in case the system is unstable and the current generally goes up and down this is really really necessary and useful clear now moving on let us talk about the accuracy classes now just like the cvt we talked about in the previous video uh, the current transformer also serves two purposes one it is all used for the metering purpose measurement of the current and also the protection purpose so the output of current transformer will be given uh, to different relays for protection purpose so definitely the accuracy classes of current transformer is also divided into two parts so one is metering and another one is protection right and the accuracy is also defined accordingly because uh, metering core will have different characteristics and protection core will have different characteristics so if you look at the classes specified by for metering then you will find it is mentioned uh, defined as 0 0.0.2 or 0.2s also there is 0.5 and 0.5s now 0.2 and 0.2s is generally used for um, metering purpose revenue metering and tariff metering and they are the most accurate metering classes available in the current transformer similarly for protection core we have a 5p or 10p class and there is also pr and uh, p sorry ps or it is also called as px right so one is used for differential protection and one is used for uh, distance protection so the cores of current transformer are divided based on these accuracy classes uh, one core will have metering another core will have protection because the characteristics of each of the class is different the core of uh, the each class will also be different now if you look at the current transformer it can have let's say uh, you know one metering core or two metering core and balance three or four protection cores this is completely depend upon the requirement what is the requirement so the number of cores will vary but generally it will be from two cores to five cores or even six cores in some cases right so that is the accuracy classes metering and protection now if you want me to make a dedicated video explaining the accuracy of current transformer then comment accuracy in the comment section below i also have a dedicated video explaining the 5p and 10p class if you are interested in knowing that i'll provide a link for it down in the description so now let us talk about the accuracy limit factor now first of all let us put one thing very clear that the alf factor is only applicable for cores with 5p and 10p rating this factor is not applicable for other protection class and also for metering class clear now let us understand what is accuracy limit factor now we talked about the rated current of ct let's say it is 1000 ampere now this is the rated current but there can be a situation wherein the primary current can go to a very high level example a fault and in that situation the ct must not be saturated or let me put it in this way this particular core 5p 10 or 10p must not be saturated because this is the output that you want to give to your relay so that it will sense if the ct or this particular core is saturated and the relay is not getting the output you will not get the desired result you will not get the desired protection that you want right there is no point in having then this particular class in the ct so the ct must not saturate in case the rated current goes to a very high level and this particular factor accuracy limit factor uh, defines that particular quality of the ct so you will find that the class is generally mentioned as 5p 10 so 10 is what indicates the accuracy limit factor now what is this 10 means let us understand that the 10 indicates that even if the 10 times the rated current flows through the current transformer the core will not saturate the accuracy will not be impacted the composite error will still remain in the uh, limit specified by the standard that is defined by the accuracy limit factor now this can be 20 or this can be 30 as well so 20 indicates even if 20 times the rated primary current flows through the current transformer the this particular core will not saturate clear understood so that is accuracy limit factor by the way if you are finding the video helpful why not to like it and why not to subscribe because i mean why not we are putting a lot of efforts in creating this content and there is a lot of interesting content that is coming up so 
definitely go and subscribe to the channel with notification turned on. Now let us talk about the very important factor that is instrument safety factor. Now ISF is exactly opposite to that of the ALF that we just saw. How is that? Let us understand. Now ALF it talks about that the CT must not saturate right on the other hand the ISF talks about the CT must saturate right don't get confused I'll explain you uh, wh what is that so uh, the ALF talks about the protection core and when the protection core is used the CT must not saturate because we want output from it right on the other hand when the CT's core is used for metering purpose the meters are not meant to carry very high current right and if let's say uh, 40 kilo ampere is flowing through the pr primary in case of short circuit and that is replicated in the secondary and that output is going to the meter then this meter will not work right the meter will be damaged completely because the meter is not meant to carry that much high current right so in that case the metering core must be saturated well before the high current reaches right and that is what is defined by the instrument safety factor or ISF clear that is the difference between ALF and ISF ALF is indicating that the CT must not saturate whereas ISF is indicating that the CT must saturate after a certain point so if you see the nameplate you will find that it is generally mentioned as ISF is let's say less than 5 now what does that indicate less than 5 means that the CT will saturate uh, when 5 times the rated primary current flows through it so if let's say 1000 ampere is the primary current and 5 times of that so 5000 ampere is flowing through the CT the output of the CT will be saturated and hence even if the current goes high in that situation it will not have any impact on the meter because the CT is already saturated right and th thereby your meter is protected even in case of a very high current and hence this instrument safety factor is very very important in case of metering cores again this is only applicable when metering core is into the picture not applicable for any protection core that is not required right so only applicable for metering core now the values can vary it can be less than 5 or it can be less than 10 so smaller the class the better is the safety provided for the meter so 5 times means 5000 ampere and 10 means 10000 ampere so when 10000 ampere current will flow the ct the core of that ct will be saturated right very very important in case of metering core the instrument safety factor so i hope you have understood those five important parameters of the ct really important in case if you are going for the technical interview if you found the video helpful do like the video and do share it with the people who might be interested in knowing about this factor thank you so much guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning